I'm Sean, and I love music. And uh, welcome to What's Spinning, uh, where we'll take a look at the music that's been bothering my record player, my band camp, and my title over the month of September, uh, and why this music is awesome. Uh, some of it will be old, some of it will be new, but it will all be absolutely brilliant. Let's get into it. First of all, what I've been streaming over the course of the month, uh, Trinity and Ecstasy by Transcending Rights, um, some suitably grim and cold atmospheric black metal from France. Um, it's actually uh, one album made up from two massive tracks, Trinity and Ecstasy. Um, it's big, it's echoey, it's cold, and it's very, very atmospheric. Uh, it reminds me a lot of uh, Wolves in the Throne Room, um, and if you like your black metal as if it's been recorded in a cave and expansive, then this is definitely an album for you. On the complete opposite end of the spectrum is the sumptuous and crystal clear Endless Blue by Deadly Carnage. Um, hailing from Italy, the band described themselves as post-Black Doom avant-garde black metal, which is probably enough genres to describe one band. Um, all you need to know is that there are bits of black metal, there are bits of progressive metal, and there's a big healthy dollop of uh, doom and goth in there as well. Um, they borrow very heavily from the Alcest and Catatonia playbooks, um, really, really good. Um, really, really strong, soaring, clean vocals throughout, which are really, really nice. Um, it's a lovely, lovely experience from beginning to end. Very, very recommended. This next one is just fucking awesome, no matter what way you cut it. Um, Imperium Mortalia by Dismal Aura. It's dirty, grinding, high speed black metal from the wilds of Canada. Um, it's heavily soaked in streaks of grindcore and crust punk and thrash and hardcore. Um, and I, I really love the vocals, they're just so brutal. Um, but what's really good as well is, although it is unrelenting and grindy and really, really filthy, it's not afraid to bust out a super, um, a super victorious guitar solo which I really appreciate. Um, I'm really strongly recommended for fans of like Ananathrak or Nails. Um, really, really punchy, really, really in your face, really, really amazing. Definitely, definitely check this out. It's all getting a wee bit weird now with All Input Is Error by Pomegranate Tiger, um, instrumental progressive metal lunacy from one man show Pomegranate Tiger. Um, expect lots of futuristic finger snapping riffage, um, solos shredding, barmy time changes and odd sound effects. Um, it is immaculately performed and immaculately produced. Uh, may feel a bit artificial for uh, people if you like your music a bit raw or a bit more, a bit more grimy, but um, it's, it's in the same in a wheelhouse is I Built the Sky. Um, real, real big guitar and digital music like virtuosity and yeah, absolutely amazing. Really, really love it. Another awesome bit of black metal, um, forgive me for the for the butchering of the pronunciation, but uh, Crepuscule Natura by Oada. Um, some blistering and melodic black metal from the USA. Um, lots of atmosphere, lots of melody, and among the raw black metal riffage and blasting, which is really amazing. Um, I really I, I really dig the production on this one. Um, it's very vibrant. Um, everything, every instrument pops. Nothing is too overbearing. Everything has its place and complements everything else happening on the record, which is amazing. Um, I'm also also getting really really heavy um Gueria and have a crew vibes like they've got the, the, the same kind of wheelhouse as those bands um the, the artwork for the album is absolutely killer as well as with all of Oada's previous um, records um, so yeah absolutely if you're into your black metal uh, melodic and really well produced give these guys give these guys a listen And my biggest surprise of the month, as in something I was not looking for in any way, shape or form, but just cropped up randomly on my Bandcamp one day and has been absolutely amazing, is a Coronet Juniper by Gridlink. Um, it's ridiculously fast and unrelenting post-hardcore slash grindcore slash black metal nonsense. Um, I've been on a big armoured core six bend in this month and I saw the front cover which is absolutely amazing and I thought hmm, that looks interesting. Um, maybe that's a bit of like a digital music was kind of a bit synthy, a bit 80s, a bit cyberpunky but no no I was just blown away by the sheer intensity um, of Gridlink. Um, the album 
charges along at a relentless pace. There is no song on the album that is over three minutes long. Uh, the band cram absolutely more ideas into a single two minute song than some bands can manage it over an entire album. Um, I'll definitely be grabbing this on vinyl, but yeah, Coronet Juniper um, by Gridlink. Um, if, you, if you're looking for like something that's an amazingly fast, brutal bit of just kicky in the face heaviness, then absolutely check these guys out. And the album that would have been my album of September if a certain vinyl release hadn't arrived uh, would have been the environmentally conscious progressive black metal of uh, Anti-God Hand and their, their album Blight Year, um, all the way from Canada. Um, lots of sparkling guitars and odd time signatures complementing the raw blast beats and tremolo, uh, tremolo guitars and howl vocals. Um, it's also not afraid to get heavy, which is a really, really big plus. Sometimes black metal can kind of hide uh, up the top of the neck with the tremolo and be afraid to get into the kind of chugging heaviness but no this this album brings that in spades as well um it's written by prolific uh, will ballantyne with drums by greg fox who you may recognize from the turkey um would have been my album of the month as i said but um, another release came in the post and pipped it so um but this will be another one that i will definitely get on vinyl such a good album uh, that's a blight year by anti-god hands absolutely check it out And moving away from the digital into the physical releases of the month, uh, first up we've got the legendary Neon Genesis Evangelion soundtrack by Shiro Sekisu. I mean, does this really need an introduction at this point? The Evangelion soundtrack is pretty much legendary um, at this point, uh, and this vinyl repress has been a long, long time coming, um, and, and fantastic see-through blue vinyl as well. Rather lovely, rather lovely. Um, if you've not heard or seen Evangelion, like, what, what rock have you been hiding under? Um, and if you, um, the tracks on this, if you haven't seen it, you may recognise them from Shin Godzilla. And if you've not seen uh, Shin Godzilla, then what the hell is wrong with you? And next up, band, so nice, I'm going to talk about them twice. It's uh, Towers and Rift Canyon Dreams by Burning Witch. Uh, Burning Witch, if you don't know, is the band that was like the progenitor to Sun and Canny and a whole bunch of other Southern uh, Lord staples. And um, this is raw, primitive, heavy, very, very bleak doom. Um, it's, it's absolutely amazing. Um, I used to own uh, the Crippled Lucifer um, compilation CD when I was much younger um, and, and that's that, I haven't seen any other releases from them or, or about them um, since then but no no these represses are super super welcome and absolutely fantastic. Uh, literally a bit of living history um, into doom metal so um, it's an absolute, they're both absolute must-haves if you are a fan of doom music in absolutely any way shape or form. Um, yeah these are absolutely fantastic really you can really hear where that sun guitar tone came from and i mean the vocals are just really brutal and shrieking and harrowing so so yeah absolutely amazing uh, towers and rift canyon dreams by burning witch they're on sale now and um, through southern lord absolutely 100 percent go check them out Next album on the list isn't new by any stretch of the imagination, but it is one that's been getting a lot of airtime in the McCarter household over September, and that is Lost Girls by Bats for Lashes. Um, wonderful 80s tinted synth pop. Um, every track is just an absolutely atmospheric banger. Really incredibly well written, incredibly well crafted and, and, and well recorded. And Natasha Khan's vocals are haunting and ethereal in all the right ways. Um, it's an amazing palate cleanser from all the doom and black metal that I've been talking about. Um, this record is actually from my, my wife's part of the uh, record collection, but as with anything good that she brings into the house in terms of music, I'm just going to rampantly nick. So yeah, um, uh, Lost Girls by Bat for Lashes. Couldn't recommend it enough. And the honourable mention of the month is a track by my favourite main shouty girl from Japan, Haru Namuri. Um, this is actually featured in the new cyberpunk expansion Phantom Liberty. Um, and as expected, as with anything from Haru Namuri, it is um, some awesome industrial themed electric pop uh, with Haru's unique, wonderful vocals. Um, I've been kind of chomping at the bit for a new Haru Namuri album, so this will take me over quite nicely until she released something uh, something else. But yeah, it's a breathlessly epic three-ish minutes of um, glitchy glittery awesomeness go and go and check it out
and the album that I have spent the most time with in September is the wonderfully titled uh, Petrol Dragonic Apocalypse or Dawn of Eternal Night An Annihilation of Planet Earth and the Beginning of Merciless Damnation by King Gizzard and the Lizard Wizard. Um, I am actually very very late to the King Wizard party um, but I'm, I'm very very glad that I arrived. Um, I've always been a wee bit intimidated by the sheer size and scope um, of their back catalogue and I genuinely had no idea how to like penetrate the wall of like they, they just do everything like what, what what's the best thing to get into and this is an absolutely wonderful uh, entry point into their music um so particularly for someone like me coming from the more metal side of the spectrum um this is balls to the wall thrash prog and stoner infused metal um it is an absolute it's a fun ride from start to finish and um, everything about it is absolutely fantastic the performances are incredible they're really well played the drumming is, is unbelievably good and um, the vocals are growly and punchy and the songs are just so goddamn catchy um, I, I was kind of worried that it was going to be kind of like oh king gizzard are kind of playing it being a thrash metal band but no no this is just absolutely a true blooded metal album um, I love the riffs I love the dynamic drums that thunder underneath everything um, there are extended um, jazzy like um, set instrumental sections which I knew the band were very very famous for but they integrate it really really well into the kind of high speed thrashiness of it all um, I also love that it comes in this wonderful uh, recyclable sleeve um, as an alternative to like plastic sleeves which is really fantastic so the, 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 um, the subject matter of the album is very very focused on global warming and how we're destroying the planet um, uh, climate change and the apocalypse that we're we're creating so um, and it's, it's a mad juxtaposition from the lyrics which are so kind of doom and gloom to the music which is just so thunderously victorious and amazingly fun and um, this has also been my first lucky rainbow vinyl um, and I'm actually very very uh, very happy with the press and it's kind of like an almost Godzilla-esque kind of deep greenish grey which is pretty cool um, I had been looking for an inroad into starting to get into King Gizzard and the Lizard Wizard and I'm, I'm so glad that this 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 entered my, my listening rotation and um, I cannot recommend the band enough I know they've been getting a lot of praise generally throughout the years but yeah if you're looking for something a bit heavier from King Gizzard then this is absolutely the album for you have you ever tried simply turning off the TV sitting down with your children and hitting them <laughs> 